Hi, my name's Tony and I'm from the SUP company. And in this video, we're out with the old and we're in with the new. And here it is, the all new Red Paddle Co Titan II. But to best show you the differences, we're gonna need the old one back. And then we can run you through as to the changes and the complete redesign of this, which was a totally iconic pump in terms of the Red Paddle Co Titan when it was first launched, and just how impressive the Titan II really is. So the Red Pedal Co Titan, when it was first introduced, was really revolutionary. It kind of broke the mold. And as a dual cylinder pump, you find you've got the high volume cylinder and then a high pressure cylinder, you would get your board on the water much, much quicker because you're inflating that first volume stage very, very quickly because you're using both cylinders together. But once you get to around 6 to 8 PSI with the Titan, you find that you can't get any more air in the board, so then you have to revert to just the high pressure cylinder by simply removing the stopper. All well and good. Really great job from Red. A few other brands have now played catch up and have bought out other pumps to try and compete with the Titan, but it has for a long time stood head and shoulders above the competition. So why the Titan II? Well, the Titan II, just gives us more volume and ultimately form factor. There is, when packed, a massive reduction in terms of overall size between the Titan II and the Titan. We'll run you through that quickly now because the handle drops very simply out the top. You then fold the feet and then that's what you're having to deal with and pack as opposed to all of this. And it's the handles really that create a lot or take up a lot of space within the bag and then also the foot placement as well. In creating the Titan II though, what Red have also achieved is more volume. So the pump is slightly bigger. You've got the opportunity for more air in the board now than before. But really there's other refinements and differences. So let's run you down as if it were a paddleboard review from ourselves from the top down to the bottom of the pump. So when pumping, you would raise the pump up and then depress it. Now, as you can see on the Titan one though, the hose is still attached. So the hose is constantly flexing up and down. On the Titan two, it's not. It's the position is maintained and it's static as you are there going up and down with the pump. The pump itself, that when you are standing over the pump, you're actually able to get your feet slightly closer. There's also more area for you to stand and brace yourself with on the pump. And that actually makes it easier. You can get much more over the Titan two than you can on the Titan. So with the attachment of the hose, there's a big change from Red Paddle Co. So on the Titan one, it is a screw thread attachment onto the handle and then a Hinkley valve for your board. Whereas on the Titan two, well, both ends of the hose are Hinkley valve attachments. And what that means is that when you fit it to the Titan two, is it goes in very cleanly. There's no need to try and over tighten the thread to get a secure seal. Interestingly as well, that what can happen from time to time is occasionally the Titan, your Titan 1 may fall over. And if it falls over and drops onto the front, that handle, that thread can actually see damage. With the Titan 2, it doesn't happen. If anything, it falls over, drops onto the front of this basket here, not affecting the handle in any way because it's clean at the top. And the valve itself also is more protected which is a really, really nice touch. And it just shows that Red Paddle Co are paddle boarders themselves. They use their products, they understand their products, and they understand what's needed and where things can be improved. The switch itself, no longer is there a key on the back, as if on the Titan 1. On the Titan 2, it's a very simple open and close mechanism, just on the lever. And again, that whole piece is static. Interestingly as well, there are smaller vents on the Titan 2 than there are on the Titan 1. So we have these here on the Titan 1, on the Titan 2, just these couple on the top. 
That ultimately means as well that there's less opportunity for air to escape. Less air escaping means more air in your board and it overall it's much more efficient as a result. Working our way down the pump though, what's nice and what Red have thought about again is that in making the handle removable and also the hose as well, there's att attachment on the side so everything just drops in very easily to be secured when it's all packed away. You've got the same Velcro attachment on the other side for the hose and it works really, really well. As with any product, servicing is a requirement and Red Puddle Co, when they designed the Titan 1, knew this, so they did it so it could actually be pulled apart by a customer and very, very easy to service. In order to do this, you would remove the handle by unscrewing these bars here and then you take the whole cap off and you can get to the seals and washers inside in order to replace them. I say simple enough, yeah, it was relatively simple, but a bit of effort in taking the time to redesign the Titan and producing the Titan 2, Red knew this and they just wanted to make it slightly easier yet again. And they did so by actually putting these screws in the bottom so you can get to all of the internals without taking the whole top off. And it's a really nice touch by Red and the design team there. Overall though, the Red Paddle Co Titan 1, do you know what? It served us brilliantly over the years and it's done a fantastic job. But what Red have done in terms of the redesign of the Titan 2 and all the engineering that's gone into it, they've raised the bar massively, not over and above what was already a leading pump in the market, but for every other paddleboard manufacturer out there. They have taken this pump and moved the bar hugely, hugely up for everyone else yet again to chase. If you want to get on the water faster, this pump does it. It puts more volume in your board than before and it packs down smaller than before. The Titan's dead. Long live the Titan too. Thanks for watching our video. If you've got any questions about what you've seen, why not give us a call in the shop or head over to thesupco.com. If you want to make sure you stay up to date with all of our videos, why not click subscribe up here or check out our next video up here.